Hi, this is Malini. Today I'm going to show you a sample of our rare and some blooming succulents and cacti. Let's start off with this one. This is an Endinium obesum, Ericum Desert Rose from Yemen. It's beautiful pink flowers. It's roughly about 15 to 20 years old. These are Matrilla cactus, crested forms. These are roughly around 25 years old. And beautiful containers that really sets off the plant. Here we have um, our poplar variegated um, euphorbia. These are Indian corn cobs. And see those beautiful colors there? Those are bright pink colors that's caused by the sun. These are echeverias. A lot of different types of echeveria. This is an echeveria conte. And this is a rare echeveria species. It has beautiful pink, orange, reddish flowers on these tall stalks. Beautiful bluish silver gray leaves. I have videos on most of these plants and I'll put the links to the videos in the description below. This is an echeveria afterglow. This is another echeveria known as a sea dragon. It has beautiful curly, very curly, curvy leaves with bumps on the leaves as well. Now these are um, San Pedro, Trichocerus passion or San Pedro cactus. These are great if you're looking for something with, um, you want some height um, in your garden. These are good landscape plants. They have white flowers. This is a Cyphostema jute. This is a very rare plant. It's from South Africa. It's roughly about uh, 30 years old. And they have uh, red berries that are poisonous. They, uh, right now, they can show you the red berries there. Um, these are already finished blooming. I have a video on the Sapistem Jute as well. I'll put that uh, link to that video in the description below. Here's some more very colorful variegated euphorbias. Again, this is all caused by the sun. Um, they, if they're in the shade, they turn more grayish white color and all that pink would disappear. We want that very intense pinkish reddish color. Put that in the sun, full sun, and water less. Um, we typically water our succulents and cacti in the summer about once a week. Here we have a Euphorbia variegated amic, and it's from South Africa. We have totem poles here, they're also very rare plants. These are totem pole cacti, and they have no spines. These are again great for um, landscape plants or in the container. This is a crested Trichocerus passion. I see that crest there. And the last thing I'll show you is the Echeveri, sorry not Echeveri, Agave Blue Glow. And those are also very rare agaves. They grow about roughly about two feet, right? two feet tall to two feet wide and very slow growing. Thank you for watching.